Hello, fish fans. Good to see you again. It's a time for another episode. Uh, this one is surf fishing with my dad. Um, we're out kind of celebrating my 52nd birthday and uh, able to get out on the sand there for about three hours, and we had a great time. The bite was nonstop. We came home with absolutely zero fish, but we caught a ton of fish. Uh, this doesn't even include all of them, so enjoy. On the big shrimp. That's a, they gotta be 15. I don't yeah, know if he's no, 15. He's, he's a pretty fish though. Pretty fish. Don't catch a whole lot of those in surf. Okay, dad and I are out here at Ponte Vedra, uh, one of my favorite spots, and he's already caught a trout and a whiting, and I just caught this baby black drum. Pretty, that guy over there just caught about a four foot bonnet head. Caught it for a while. That's a nice fish right there. Here I am, evidently I'm the tiny black drum master today. Okay, to add to the mixed bag, now it's a spot, which is historically a great shark bait. So I'm gonna hang on to him. All of a sudden, I've started just using a cut whiting that Dad had, pole with Brave and a pompano rig. I lost my steel rig. And I look over and this pole's about to come out. As you can see, I got Mr. Shark here. Now he's a good one. He's a good one. You can see he's a he's a pretty good size little shark. Oh, that was a good fight, especially right there close to this end. Here we go. He's not a black tip. I think he's a shark nose. Shark nose. He is. Get every bit of that tail. <laughs> he's way too long to measure. He's. He's about as long as my card. I'd say he's about 32 inches. Good. That's Lady fish. Lady fish. Look at that baby tarpon. <laughs> baby tarpon. Yeah, that's my tarpon. He's huge. Okay, that's way on on one. I just ripped the sand spike out. Let's see how big it is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's no shame in running backwards. Oh, he's got a shark. Look at there. Well, that's a nice one. <laughs> You had him on the beef stick, huh? Because it was bending that pole, but it wasn't bending a whole lot. That's a good size one, man. That was bigger than the one I caught. I didn't have it stuck in good enough to bend. I, I saw it go boink once, and then it just started going, and I started screaming. Yeah, I'll get the pliers. I think Dad might have got me on this one. <laughs> Let's check him. The last one went off the end of the cart. The last one went off the end of the cart. Watch out. You won't get hurt moving around with that sucker. Strong. Playing possum with me, what he's doing. Woo! He ain't happy. He ain't happy. That's a good little shark there. I thought about the way I just pulled it over, it wasn't good. But when I saw him fighting that much, I was like, Well, that didn't take long for that lady fish to take effect. No. Woo! Okay, first one of these, and I'm glad. The infamous hard head. The infamous hard head kid. Uh, that's a big one. Man, that's a big one. For that kind. <laughs> Look at that. So we got a spot. We got about one more cut of ladyfish, so we might better keep him. I mean, I don't want to stay but till like 11, but. Yeah, we'll cut him up. And so we're not going to go my pole bent to you. And I missed him. And something's been chewing up our pompano rigs. So we went steel. As you can see, shark. I don't think he's as husky as the one dad caught. He's in between the other two that we caught. And that's took him off the hook. My sandwich went flying, my water went flying. <laughs> and this is what's eating our ladyfish out there. Tearing up our pomp rigs. 
put on the ladyfish steel rigs. Now we got three. That's a pretty good shark. A lot of fun. So this is what we're using. Cut up ladyfish. It's been kind of non-stop action today. Don't have anything for the cooler, but we sure have had a lot of fun. And we've caught spots, whitings, sharks, uh, catfish, one catfish. Finally, I was getting a different kind of bite, and I was wondering what it was. I had a feeling it was Mr. Bluefish. And that is not a bad one. That is a pretty good bluefish right there. See if I'm getting this on. They will bite you. This is the only fish that's ever bit me. And uh, it's because their eyes move independently. They don't just stare straight out. Their eyes will move and follow you. But he was a good fight. I'll tell you that in a surf. All right. Okay, we've had enough. This is the sign. When you get Mr. Kitty Fish, he ain't as big as the one I caught earlier, but he's a pain. So, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. It was great to be with my dad and fish today. We will see you next time. Keep fishing.